Agradecemos el trabajo de la embajadora Khan en el cargo de la presidencia del Consejo de Derechos Humanos y queremos dar la bienvenida al embajador Villegas y desearle el mayor de los éxitos en este cargo. La sociedad civil, movimientos y activistas, sobre todo quienes no estamos en Ginebra, hemos visto cada vez más barreras para acceder al Consejo y a sus mecanismos. En 2022, y mientras el mundo atraviesa una crisis sin precedente causada por la pandemia de COVID-19, Esperamos que el Consejo de Derechos Humanos responda a la realidad y los problemas cotidianos de las personas y que discuta políticas para promover su implementación. We urge you to bolster protections for civil society space and human rights defenders and their organizations. The Human Rights Council must model strong protection itself to continue to show leadership on civil society spaces within the UN and around the world. Use the presidency to address the barriers that stop our colleagues from engaging with the UN. Barriers include laws that delegitimize or criminalize the foreign funding or activities of civil society. The use of anti-extremist and anti-terrorist legislation to target human rights defenders and their organizations. Travel bans that limit the ability of human rights defenders to cooperate with the United Nations and regional human rights bodies. The unwillingness of some states to invite special procedures on country visits and meet with local civil society. To strengthen their work on accountability on human rights violations, promote the importance of a human rights-based strategy for countering terrorism while addressing all human rights violations committed in the name of countering terrorism. To renew the mandate of the independent expert on sexual orientation and gender identity. And to ensure that lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans and intersex people are heard and protected through this and all other human rights mechanisms. Un compromiso firme con la eliminación de todas las formas de discriminación racial que tenga en cuenta la voz de las personas racializadas, las personas LGBT y más, así como las causas estructurales e históricas en las que subyace el racismo. Es fundamental que este año la voz de las personas defensoras sea escuchada por todos los miembros del Consejo y sin miedo a represalias. To address the migration crisis that is impacting Black migrants throughout the Americas, with special attention to Black trans people and Black women and girls. To meaningfully and materially address global anti-Blackness as it informs state-sanctioned violence of police terrorism surveillance, unemployment, underemployment, and state abandonment, divestment, and the blockage of resources and access for Afro-descendant people and communities. Deberían enfocarse en no dejar a las mujeres afrodescendientes atrás en las distintas regiones, en el cese de la discriminación y el racismo en todas sus formas y que sean consideradas todas las diversidades étnicas, raciales, de sexo, género y de clases sociales en pro de una igualdad y equidad real. In 2022, members of the Human Rights Council should model respect for the rights of the religious minorities to lead not only through their statements at the HRC, but also through demonstrating how their own religious minorities can be empowered, strengthened, how their own minorities can flourish can enjoy their citizenship, can enjoy their rights and dignity. We hope that the Human Rights Council will give greater attention to ongoing, grave and increasing hate speech on social media directed towards faith communities in order to ensure freedom of religion or belief. As President of the Council, we hope that you will look to civil society as partners and that with us you focus on maximizing effectiveness rather than simply so-called efficiency to ensure the overall goal is always to strengthen the Council's positive impact on the protection of human rights around the world. This includes meaningful consultation with civil society as you seek solutions to key challenges and ensuring diverse and active civil society participation beyond the Geneva bubble in informal as well as formal negotiations and discussions. In 2022, we expect the Council to normalize consulting civil society and to treat civil society as an equal stakeholder. We will work with you to reduce these barriers and ensure civil society space is strengthened and protected for everyone's benefit. Thank you.